Hello everyone, I am Solomon Lederer, co-founder of Blockmatics, and here we're going to do a walkthrough and an overview of Uport. Uport, I think, is a very exciting application in the blockchain space. It's an app that runs on Ethereum, and what they're doing is rethinking and reimagining identity. So uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more what I even mean by identity and how identity is done today versus how people are imagining to do it going forward using a blockchain. Uh, but before we do that, I think the best, easiest way to explain what Uport is all about is to install it and start using it. So we'll do a little bit of a walkthrough demo of the Uport app. Uh, so the first thing is head over to uport.me, is their URL, and then you can download the app either for iPhone or Android and create an account on Uport. And you should know when you're making a Uport account, it actually makes an Ethereum account for you behind the scenes. So it's creating an Ethereum address and within the Uport app, you can actually see what your Ethereum account is. And that account, that address is associated with an entry within a smart contract that is managing a lot of the, the Uport functionality. So a lot of the real heavy lifting is happening on the Ethereum blockchain. So once you have that installed, then we're going to use a demo website that's actually r being run by Uport. So if you go to Uport, uh, go to demo.uport.me, and there's a little demo that illustrates some of the functionality of, of their, this app. The, the thing to keep in mind is that even though this demo is on Uport's site, think of it, or a lot of the functionality we're doing, think of it as if it's not run or hosted by Uport. Th this will come clear in, in a couple minutes when we actually start using it. Um, so when you get to this demo site, you'll see this option over here, connect with Uport. What this is mimicking or illustrating is logging into some platform. And this platform could be any kind of platform. It doesn't necessarily have to be Uport themselves. It could be if you're logging into um, Spotify or if you're logging into GitHub or, or Upwork, any service that you use and you want to be able to log into that platform using your Uport credentials. So this is very similar to sort of like the single sign-on model we have today or open id all these options where you many sites you go to and you click on sign on like here on soundcloud you click sign on you can log in with facebook or google right you see that all over here again rotten tomatoes i'll do log in log in with facebook and you have this this is very ubiquitous hulu the same thing so that's very convenient, of course, to be able to log in with Facebook everywhere. But of course, that has a downside that if Facebook gets hacked, which has happened, and if they, people get access to your Facebook credentials, they in turn are now getting access to all these other platforms. So Uport is a similar, uh, has a similar benefit without the downside. So the benefit is you could log in to this platform using your Uport credentials, but Uport themselves never hold or ever get access to those credentials. It's, it's only created on your end, on your phone, unilaterally. So there's no, um, when you create an, an, an Ethereum account or any blockchain account, you don't have to, uh, there is no gatekeeper or there's no central authority that is managing that login. It's just created, you create your own address and associated private key only on your side. So let's just run through this, connect with Uport. It gives me this QR code. So this is something I need to scan with my phone. So I'm just gonna illustrate what my phone is doing on the left side here. Um, I log in on the bottom. In the middle, there's a QR reader. Once I hit that, I'm going to scan the QR code. I say log in with this account, share your inf my information. So I permissioned the app on my phone to pop me in to this, uh, this other platform. 
I say other platform because again, it doesn't need to be Uport that's running this. This could be any company. And there's some kind of dummy mock-up here as if I'm buying shares in something. So maybe I logged into some uh, brokerage account. So I currently have 3,000 shares and I'm going to buy say another 1,500. I hit buy shares and as soon as I do that, I get an, uh, I'll get a notification yeah, I get a notification on my phone asking me if I want to approve that transaction. So all the approval and what's doing actually, it's, it's digitally signing a message. So it's using my blockchain or Ethereum credentials to okay this transaction where I'm actually buying 1500 shares. And sure enough, now we can see that my shares have increased to 4,500. Um, so that just illustrates the login side of things and the credentialing. And if we go to the next step over here, it will show, illustrate another feature of Uport. And that is here, it says up here, reclaim ownership of your data. And there's an option certificate, Uport demo, and I have an option to get it, meaning I just completed sort of this demo or think of it that I completed some online course. And now I want to get my diploma or my, my certificate that I completed this, this process. So I hit get and then on my phone, it pops up that, Hey, there's, I'm getting a notification where I'm this incoming certificate of Uport demo and I can accept it. And then once I do that, I have under the list of my verifications over here, it shows that I have a Uport demo certificate. What's the big deal about that? So if you think of currently the way all your uh, licenses, diplomas, or things like certificates are managed today, they're always with some central authority. So if you were to, for instance, go, uh, you, you, you're looking for a new job and you want to show your prospective employer that you have a four-year degree from NYU, you have to now reach out to your university and tell NYU, hey, can you send a transcript, a sealed transcript to this prospective employer? Which is a lot of extra work. It's a lot of overhead. As opposed to, imagine if you had that certificate all along with you, just like now in this case with the Uport demo certificate, it is maintained within this app. So I received the digital copy of it and that digital copy is sent to my blockchain address, my blockchain account. And now at any point in the future, if I need to prove to someone, hey, I have such a certificate or I have such a degree or such a license, I can then send that to someone else and I could send that to, to someone else and they can actually see where that where that certificate originated from. Um, so I can just go through some of the other options here, but I just wanted to show you with accounts that things are here connected to the Ethereum uh, network. So uh, just to give you a little bit of an overview again of wh what we're talking about is right now, our licenses, our passports, diplomas, it's all with these centralized authorities or government agencies. And now with Uport, imagine all that is held on your end, connected to your Uport or Ethereum account. And I should say that Uport is only providing an interface to the true backend, and the true backend is the blockchain. So you could circumvent Uport if you wanted to and get access to those um, data points or those credentials that are being stored directly with your Ethereum account. Uh, another side of this is not just your licenses and things like that, but also preferences and, uh, and histories that you've built up with other applications. So currently you may have built up some, uh, so, some kind of movie watching history and some kind of movie preferences with Netflix and similarly with Spotify. But then if you want to go to now some new platform, if you want to move to Hulu or to, I, or to iTunes, you have to rebuild 
that history all over again. You have to regenerate, you have to teach this new system what your preferences are. But what if instead you actually had those records or those um, preferences are always stored with you or pushed to you regularly. And then if you move to some other platform, you can in turn send that to this. You could send your Netflix history to Hulu and similarly with Spotify to iTunes. Here we're just illustrating again the idea of this single sign-on using your UPro credentials to get access to all different uh, platforms, whether it's Reddit or even your bank account, Chase. And with respect to uh, connecting your credentials or your license, government-issued credentials, to your port ID, uh, the municipality of Zug, which is outside of Zurich in Switzerland, is actually doing this with Uport. So you can go into a government office in Sug and they will associate your government issued ID with your with your Uport Ethereum account. So then at any point in the future, if you go into some other government office or some other agency, you can use your Uport ID as if it were the same as using your government license. And of course in the future, it would be taken a step further. So as soon as you get a license or as soon as you get uh, a birth certificate or, or whatever it is, that agency or that hospital or what, whatever, they would send, they would issue a, a digital version of that license or credential to your Uport or blockchain account. So it would all be digital from the beginning. And it's, always going to be held in your hands from, from day one. So that's a really exciting area of how identity is being reimagined and re rebuilt using a blockchain. And it also lays the foundation for a lot of other distributed applications such as uh, healthcare. So you can imagine having your health records stored in the same way, in a uh, distributed way, which is also maintained on your side on your phone. Uh, thanks for tuning in and hope to see you again on other walkthroughs and other demos of other applications and have a great day and be sure to check us out at blockmatics.io. You can follow us on social media to find the latest happenings and news in the blockchain space.